Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has released the latest optional bug fix, also known as a C release update for Windows 11 23H2, KB5062663. And once the update has been applied, if you decide to install it, because it is optional, OS build will be sitting on 22631.5699. Now, this is what I would consider to be a light release, and it addresses non-security issues for Windows 11 23H2. Now, there's just a handful of fixes and improvements, so I'm just going to mention all of them for the purpose of this video, just to keep you guys posted. Now, first of all, the update brings profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. That rolls out with almost every optional update, and there are two fixes for file systems where the update addresses an issue in the resilient file system, also known as REFS, where using backup applications on large files could occasionally result in system memory becoming fully exhausted. So that's quite an important fix. And the next fix addresses this error, where an issue where searching for PDF files in a shared folder could return incorrect error messages such as no more files or status no more files. Microsoft says these errors disrupted output to the virtual PDF printer and interfered with backup processes. So this is also quite an important fix for file systems. So that's bringing a little bit more extra stability into 23H2. Now there are two fixes for input. The first is fixing a known issue, where there was an issue when using the Microsoft Change IME input method editor for traditional Chinese that, that might cause problems such as not being able to form or select words unresponsive spacebar or blank key, incorrect word output or a broken candidate window display. So that's a known issue that's also been fixed. That was patched over on Windows 10 as well. And then the second fix for input is the update address is an issue that affects phonetic input methods, including the Hindi phonetic input keyboard and the Marathi phonetic keyboard, which might not work correctly after installing a previous update. And then the next fix is for networking where there was an issue with peripheral devices that could take longer to work after resuming from hibernation on some devices with active cellular connections. That's also been patched. Three more to go and there's a printer improvement where printer names now appear more clearly when using RPP directed discovery making it easier to identify printers during setup. And they fixed a stability issue. This is important because it's also rolled out for Windows 10 where the update addresses an issue observed in rare cases after installing the May 2025 security update and subsequent updates causing devices to experience stability issues. Some devices, Microsoft says, became unresponsive and stopped responding in specific scenarios. And the last one is for the taskbar where Microsoft says the update addresses an issue where the taskbar icons for accessibility features are not appearing. So a light release, a couple of fixes taking place under the hood. And that's the latest update for 23H2, KB5062663. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.